Hi, good morning and welcome to Love and Daily. Um, I'm Julian Bonici. Today with us we have Paula Kauki. Hi, Paula. How are you? Okay, so to get things going, uh, Love and Daily is brought to you by Browns and you. Um, and just for a quick rundown of what we've been dis- what we'll be discussing today, um, the first story is about Floriana FC ignoring social distancing to celebrate their league victory. We've also got um, no new cases of COVID-19 um, registered today. Um, another story is about migrants chanting the Labour Party anthem aboard the Captain Morgan ferry. Um, we've also got updates about um, Miriam Parch, um, about her concerns which were brushed off a week before the fatal collapse. And the last story is about what summer clubbing could look like in Malta. So, Paula, how about you introduce us to what happened in Floriana last night? insult Guys, arm il Covid hija l-ignoranza da u l-kretini għax kretini titkun jafu perikolaw il-ħafna uħafna nis. U di trigger jat kol il-reazzjoni ta' min għallur għandu delizzi uħra pal min iħob il-marx tal-festa u għandum raġum me la street party pħadak tħalla jisi uħdim il-pulizija u marx tal-festa t'na jidun omle uħdu t'dar. بالرجون الفرور اللي كنا في السوشيال ميديا انت جو جولي من ربيع شنايت عم داشيني Um, yes, you know, I could also understand why people maybe wanted to celebrate. You know, this was Floriana claiming her the 26 um, league title and the last time they said they won was close to three decades ago. But obviously, we have a pandemic going on. And, um, you know, as you touched on before, people like Ira Losco, Matthew James Borge, you know, quite a lot of influential people raise concerns that they haven't been able to work. And now, you know, all these people have gone and just disobeyed regulations as if it were nothing. As you touched on as well a bit, um, you know, the police headquarters is right down the road, you know, and it makes me question why the police um, did nothing. You know, if I remember a week or two weeks ago, they descended on 60 people who were in Slema, you know, for breaking social distancing measures, as they should have. And it makes me question, are police scared to go ar- arrest these people? Are they scared to go disperse the crowd? You know, for me, it raises um, a lot of serious questions. Um, hopefully, you know, some of these questions that we have, maybe about the football um, thing, might be answered later. Today at 4 p.m. on COVID calls, we're inviting representatives from Floriana, Valletta and Birkikara to um, discuss the football issue in a lot more greater detail. So follow that at 4 p.m. Um, to move on to our next story, um, it's about um, the sort of the COVID-19 updates. Um, we have no new cases, no, no new, sorry, no new cases of COVID-19 in Malta, according to Health Minister Chris Firm. Um, this is obviously more positive news. Yesterday, we only had one new confirmed case for the second day in a row, as well as nine new recoveries. In other, in other news, he also mentioned other figures, you know, that 25% of all cases have been asymptomatic and that it takes roughly 16 days for a person to recover. And as and I don't know about you, Paula, but I have to raise a small question, you know, as much as it's positive that he's sharing the new figures and it is a very positive number to have zero, it makes me a bit concerned why Minister Fenn made absolutely no reference to what happened in the granaries last night. Imagine 
ya fuq reġaw sparaw il fuq il kazijiet dawn in-nies li maru il fuq jana ilbiena. Pero jekk nibqgħu positivi tajjeb illi hemm naraw li raw factor ta' tkun li nieżel, tajjeb prometti tajjeb biex inkomplu riskin lejn in-normalità il-biraħ Kristoffer fil-Parlament, ħabbar illi presso poko qed idumu n-nies 16 ġurnata biex jgħaddilhom il- Covid-19 um, u li ma nħamdu madwar 25% tal-kazijiet ma kellhom sintomi sintomi. Um, li tabla sintomi tkun fi dbeżla ta' xejn in-nies imma tant l-aħjar għaliex dawn ma jkunux qed qegħdin jibagħtu. Però le il-kontrast huwa qawwi minn tant ġranet dar għodhom għomna bla kazijiet u l-bieraħ kien hemm dak il-fjask assolut. Naraw jiswa bjaw xi residenti kollha ta' Furjan issa biex naraw ġew ittiet fahom ġimgħa tiegħek kwarantina, ma narax. Storja, storja oħra x'kun ħaddon u qed jiċċelebra din ġimgħa u jalla ħankunu kollha kuntenti, inkluż l-immigranti illi qegħdin jinżammu fuq il-Captain Morgan. Dan għodu espressivament illa fil-mod ħarġ video ta' l-immigranti qeddejjin ikkantaw viva. Mu kieku jiena il-Primministru nejt t-tara kif mux għedin naħdu l-wom dal l-immigranti jiet ikkanta u jifaħlu l-label. Għan għad peċiri li daw jidru kuntenti jiem high spirits fil-sens mux kol ħaddu mendru mebx naħseb nis bħangar strikes jider li jedin fil-stat tajjeb u nawgura li jibqaw msikem fil-stat tajjeb sa kem t-stat soluzjoni Ewropea u internazjonali għal situazzjoni taħħu. Saċ tiċċin smajtum ikkanta u viva l-lejber tu. Xie kol tant. So, for me, you know, I agree with you, you know, they actually do look well fed and in good condition, and that's actually really positive, you know, for these over 160 people out there in outside Maltes waters. But I don't know about you, but I found the video at least in a bit of poor taste, you know. We don't really actually know what the full situation on these vessels are. And truth be told, I mean, this is not a solution to the migration crisis. I'm not blaming the Maltese government. Actually, I think sort of this flotilla of asylum seekers outside Maltese waters is almost becoming a symbol for European inaction um, on the migration crisis. I mean, if our EU partners are looking at those vessels and think this is the solution moving forward, I don't know. It's been almost three weeks, close to a month, and they still haven't acted. So... Um, <laughs> I guess let's wait for now. I don't know what, what to say to that, unfortunately. <laughs> so what I pull up, Mera, just to move on to our next story. So there was a little bit of an update uh, about the Miriam Parch case. So for those of you who don't remember, Miriam Parch was the mother of two. Um, who died in the fatal um, collapse at the start of March. So yesterday, the compilation of evidence against the four men charged with causing uh, a negligent homicide. Um, so um, um, so there was this revelation that the architect, the contractor and the developer of the site brushed off her concerns almost a week before her house came tumbling down. So Carmelo Parch, uh, Miriam's husband, sort of told the court that at the start of February, a dividing wall that touched the garage collapsed all of a sudden. On 23rd February, the Parches and some of their neighbours met with developer Malcolm Malia, architect Roderick Camilleri, and excavation contractor Ludwig Greg, uh, Ludwig de Mech, to complain about the, the collapse and the tremors. Now, all these men had to tell them was that's the old law, will promise to address the issue and the same old excuses. Obviously, this hasn't happened, and less than a week later, on 2nd March, uh, Miriam Parch died. You know, I mean, there were some ho very um, emotional stories from her husband, you know, detailing how she was highly anxious and afraid um, in the lead up to the incident. We had a neighbor describing the incident like an explosion, like a tremendous earthquake. You know, it's a really horrible case, and I wonder what you think about it, Paula. Littisma illi da ma kien xaħġa li ma kienu xeħti stenne u għasat il-kulħat. Imma kienu xaħġa li kien qed din il-vitma kien qed inkwetata għan t-juza dwara, t-komplit kaċkxe, kallix ma nisaċ nifem il-livell ta' umanita u kem il-fluss, il-reba il-fluss et taqbes il-commons senti għan dek inni se t-ibza wat jaqt jaqaw il-ħitan taħdejom u t-reflet il-cowboy state illi Najt konna, et nisbira li konna, ma t-nix fiħu fil-fatt, 
jidder il-maġistrat ġow mifsut derlu il-li dikinat bizzejjet evidenza fil-kompilazzjoni biex imeċxi idan il-tasar istadju jiri min subet biex uħax latta kuza kontra dawn il-persuni. Istadju firi il-balluni għad fidej l-uffiċi tal-avokat ġenerali biex joħorġu latta kuza ubek il-kas jistala għanka fil-qorta kriminali. Naħpella il-li dalla takuza għal-kollu xie spitrek xaħħġa għal-li jekkem nis li palissa umma fil-stess situazzjoni li kienat Mirjam Paċi u li kxarej noħla bedda nal minsew da kxarej nifkaj dan il-kas li kunem nis fil-stess situazzjoni ta' Mirjam Paċ ikollu għal-li għas il-qorti li għet turi preċedenti li jisma intom di kwazi kwazi għat kun grabi daqs li kiko bat pistola għrixtu u għat nispera li n-nis li viri kas li nispera li li kompli tiħed bisserje ta' u li mkomplu għaj u kuxen ta' duwaru għal li ma jirġax jirrepeti rugu fu għno ta' daq xejn niktar kif ta' battajt ottimista jidir li jistar kunem me mot kif xor ta' ngaw du dan jistar kuma li nal uqx ġewa għal li jiex klabs bħal per eżempju medej ġew klab l-ohra li maġnu l-ħamru l-istess u tisibu mwetu di oriġinali kif fil-wakt li jossirvaw il-regulu ta' prevenzjoni xor ta' jikunu jistaw jikollu mil-parti jistxeb xo għad ċetra da billi għedin jamlu zoni segregati ta' ta' sit minnis fejn wiħed jistaj mur mas-ħabu jħu pjeċir u ma' jħoċi tħallat fil-folla kif konna na puħa għabelli biex ta' dili ti tiddum dħolwa Naħseb illi huwa pas pozitif għalix laħar mill laħar jekk donnu il-kazijie ta' t-tibre din jonqsu jidher nistaw neġew moru li l-ħaja normali, pero għappell li jekk inti jatem mekk ma' sħabek mem ġarfejtu għod koxa ma' koxa tista' t-tibjet naħra minn xuxi jekk kunġej minn familji differenti. Biħsie blekt mur klabbing inti ġwoli mblasi. Yeah, so probably, I mean, just a bit, you know, it's really nice to, you know, that's Okay, you know, as you said, you know, the cases are dropping and we're starting to return to at least some sort of normality, you know, to at least go out and maybe have a couple of drinks and sort of forget all the all of our other stresses we're facing at the moment. Um, obviously, I do have maybe one or two concerns, you know, as much as there are social distancing measures are in place, I really hope they're followed, you know, because I don't want sort of these clubs reopening becoming a hotspot for COVID-19. I mean, we have to show some responsibility. Unfortunately, if last night's incident sort of shows anything, that maybe um, more these people aren't as responsible as we would like to be, you know, to, to help actually combat, combat um, this outbreak, you know, a second outbreak, sorry. Ma jisiru x daw l-esperimenti ġivili da kollu jiddependi fuq s-sens komunu l-goodwill ta l-management u ta l-nis li jiddeċidu li jandu mi mullu daw l-klabs. Pero good luck jiena t-irneċi. Okay, so that's all we have for today. Just to remind you, Love and Daily is brought to you by Browns on You. And today we have a Browns tip of the day. Their tip is when we model peaceful and loving relationships, our children feel more secure and loved. Positive language, active listening, and empathy help maintain a peaceful, happy family environment during these stressful times. Uh, thank you. That's the message from Browns and you. Um, catch us tomorrow at 10 a.m. Bye. Bye.